and welcome back to our adventures. Today we are visiting Paradise Park to share with others what to expect whilst visiting. This place is a little different. Um, it's a garden centre with extra. Yes, this place has the normal kind of things that you'd find in the garden centre plus extras. It has a Planet Earth Museum, a Heritage Trail, and, a, and gardens, and a play zone. I'm not going to talk about COVID, apart from the basics, and I'll put it all on my website so you can read what they're doing to keep up COVID uh, standards and do's and dates. The basics are wear masks at two metres distance apart from each other. So let's go and explore. Okay, so the first place we have stopped is the Planet Earth Museum. Um, I've quoted this from the site to give you the right information. Following the extraordinary life story of Planet Earth, from its beginnings to the present day, they have a unique collection of fossil min minerals and crystals up to 500 million years old. Discover how the planet Earth has evolved from the oldest rocks at its formation over 4 billion years ago to the youngest ones that are still forming today. Did you know dinosaurs evolved more than 200 million years ago and the first dinosaur fossil was discovered in Sussex by Gidden Mental in 1834? So we're going to carry on going through, but before I go, I just want to say that going through here, there's enough room for a wheelchair. Um, it's, quite, it's got some tight corners, but very accessible. It is accessible. Okay, so we're going to carry on going through and having a look. So we've just stopped here, we're still in the planet Earth part and just found something really interesting, well I thought so and I wanted to share it with you. So what I wanted to share with you was that some living organisms have an ability to produce crystal. For example, humans can de develop gout, a very painful condition that occurs when the body's excess uric acid forms crystals in the joints. Um, and cameraman's just going to show you a picture. I found this fascinating. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you all. And now we shall carry on going round. Like to say, it does get quite noisy in here. So if you're someone who doesn't like loud noises, you might want to bring your ear defenders because it is very, very loud. But it's also very fun and exciting. So let's go and see. Volcanoes erupt dramatically when molten rock and hot gases from within the earth push up through faults in its crust. solidifying as it cools, and thick layers of ash carpet the ground. Many volcanoes erupted on the young earth, shaping the landscape and releasing gases which formed the first atmosphere. So, I just want to point out, because this is about accessibility and stuff, the majority of the stuff you can interact with. If you're in a wheelchair, I feel you may struggle getting on here, which is um, to experience what an earthquake would feel like. So I just wanted to point this out. There is no ramp going up here. 
Earthquakes are among the most destructive natural events that occur on the planet. They serve as a reminder that even today, Earth is still in a constant state of change. The Sussex History Trail manders through the gardens with handcrafted models of Sussex landmarks that have survived often for hundreds of years to remind us of our exciting past. Okay, so we are going to go through and we're going to share through the waterfalls and the fishies and feed the fishies. Let's go. zone area and we have come outside as it's very noisy and there was little children running around and um, sometimes I wish I was still a kid so I could go and join in but I am not I am an adult with a childlike mind apparently there are activities for all ages in there so maybe I can play which I will I'm going to play a bit of crazy girl in a minute but not yet. There are lots of things to climb. Um, there's netted walkways through the trees, bulls and tunnels, and down the slides, which we will be taking lots of photos and showing what we can with you. There's also a separate soft play area for under fives. I'm not allowed in that one. And you can enjoy the outdoor play area, which is where we are now. As you can see behind me, crazy looking park. Uh, they also offer party packages, so I will leave the links and information for that on my website. There is a miniature railway that carries passengers around the gardens, which we hope to share with you. We haven't found it yet, but we hope to share with you soon. There's even a nine hole crazy golf, which I was just mentioning, and we're going to play in a minute and share with you. Um, and they offer regular competitions and events in the school holidays. At Christmas, they even have a Santa Winterland. How cool is that? Right, we are going to go and play a bit of crazy golf. Let's go! <laughs>
come to the end of our day at visiting Paradise Park. We would like to say a massive thank you to Paradise Park for letting us come today and visit and share with others, with others what to expect whilst visiting Paradise Park. It seems accessible to wheelchairs and disabled friendly. Not that we've picked up, we haven't seen any hearing loop signs, but to be fair, it's mainly reading anyway, and it's all really big, clear writing. We would also like to say a big thank you to Hubby today for filming. Thank you to our supporters on YouTube, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more upcoming uh, visiting location vlogs. So once again we'd like to say a big thank you and we hope you enjoyed today as much as we did and we'll see you next month, same time, same place. Bye!